Hello everyone, Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here. Check out our website at raywaldo.com for all the files that you'll need to do any of this stuff. Today we're working with a bricked NT8, Nook Tablet 8 gigabyte version. This was bricked by trying to install this Team B version of CM7 to uh, the device. It's a CM, I mean it is a 16 gigabyte image that will not fit on the 8 gigabyte device. You can use the SD version of, of Team B's CM7, works fine on the 8 gigabyte, but you cannot use the internal version. So what you do to stop the boot loop, and that's what it's doing, it's just looping, is hold the power button down, and you hold it down for at least 15 or 20 seconds, a minute, two minutes even if you have to. Now do not release the power button the first time it goes blank, because you're not through yet. Make sure that it stays blank for at least five or 10 seconds before you let go. Okay, so it is staying blank now, so we're probably safe. Okay, so we're going to let go. Now, Megdot, uh, a user on XDA Developers, has created uh, a file that you can use to a script that will actually create an image that you can burn to an SD called Repart, and it is uh, all the instructions and the links are on my website, raywaldo.com. That's what we have here is the Repart file image on an SD card, if I can get it to go in. Okay, there we go. Seat it down real good. Okay, and this time when we power on, we won't have to do anything. Just let the device work. It's going to power on. Okay, now we're changing up doing something a little different. Watch it now. Okay. It says, please do not turn your device off. <laughs> you do not want to turn every, anything off. Just let it go. It doesn't show any activity, but it's actually working. The script is actually writing. Takes it just a few more moments. Okay, we got a green check mark up here. See the green check mark came up. Okay, when that happens, go ahead and take the the chip out. Okay, the device automatically reboots when you remove the chip. It says it's clearing the data. Okay, and there's a progress bar down here at the bottom. See the progress bar. This takes a few moments. Do not turn your device off. Still, the progress bar is moving. Okay, another cool progress bar. It's restoring the factory software. And this will restore back to stock 1.42. Totally stock. Now, there is a version somewhere out there you can find that will actually repartition re the uh, user data file, uh, partition from two gigabytes to four gigabytes, but uh, either one will work. Uh, you can either have the repartition or not, and uh, I should make those both available on my website. You'll see both uh, versions on my website at raywaldo.com. Okay, taking a few more moments. I'm going to make sure that everything gets finished there. It's uh, progress bar is almost finished. Okay, and it's rebooting again. This time when it reboots, it's going to come up into stock, absolutely stock, Barnes & Noble 1.4.2. Read forever. That's a good sign when you see the read forever. And the next thing we should see is the uh, link for the video that starts the Nook setup. And when you have that, then it's just standard Nook. You'll want to go ahead and register no matter what you're going to do with the device. Even if you know you're going to install a, uh, another custom ROM, you want to go ahead and register the device uh, at this point. Make sure that it loads up completely and totally and register it with Barnes & Noble. Then you can uh, put on another 
ROM or whatever you might want to do with it. Okay, the brighten up and there's the video. Okay, so we know that we are back at Barnes & Noble stock ROM now. We were boot, boot uh, bricked, it was in a boot loop, and now we're fixed. And that's how you do it. Okay. Again, all the files should be linked at raywaldo.com.